Pelvic inflammatory disease is an infectious and inflammatory disease of the upper female genital tract, including the uterus, fallopian tubes, and adjacent pelvic structures. Chlamydia trachomatis is the most common causative organism of pelvic inflammatory disease. Others include Neisseria gonorrhoeae, Gardnerella vaginosis, Haemophilus influenzae, and anaerobes such as Peptococcus and Bacteroid species. About 30 to 40 percent cases of pelvic inflammatory disease are polymicrobial, meaning that multiple organisms are involved. Risk factors include having multiple sexual partners, history of sexually transmitted infections, sexual intercourse at a younger age, intrauterine devices, sexual abuse, gynecological instrumentation, including hysteroscopy, endometrial biopsy, and curettage. Most cases of pelvic inflammatory disease occur in two stages. First stage is acquisition of vaginal or cervical infection, which is usually a sexually transmitted disease. Second stage is direct ascent of microorganisms from the vagina or cervix to the upper genital tract. This ascent is facilitated by several mechanisms, including the following. Decreased efficacy of the cervical mucosal barrier in halting microorganisms due to vaginal inflammation. Disruption of normal endogenous flora due to antibiotic treatment. Opening of the cervix and retrograde flow of blood during menstruation and sexual intercourse. Signs and symptoms depend on the severity of the disease. Some people might be minimally symptomatic, while others may present with toxic symptoms such as fever, nausea and vomiting, and severe abdominal and pelvic pain. Abnormal vaginal discharge is present in about 75% of cases, and about 40% will have unanticipated vaginal bleeding. Approximately one-third of women will have abnormal uterine bleeding. Complications of pelvic inflammatory disease include chronic pelvic pain, infertility, and ectopic pregnancy. Laparoscopy is the criterion standard for the diagnosis of pelvic inflammatory disease. A pregnancy test should be performed to exclude ectopic pregnancy. Urinalysis should be done to exclude urinary tract infections. Vaginal and cervical swabs should be taken for bacterial culture. Other specific tests should be performed to exclude syphilis, hepatitis, and HIV infections. In addition, ultrasound scan is also very useful in excluding other pathologies involving the genital tract. Treatment of pelvic inflammatory disease is aimed at relieving acute symptoms, eradicating the current infection, and minimizing the risk of long-term sequelae. Treatment with antibiotics alone is successful in about 33 to 75 percent of cases. If surgery is warranted, conservation of reproductive potential with simple drainage, adhesiolysis, and copious irrigation can be offered.